to add them. Here's some parts of Running Wild and then some of the riffs that we covered as well. Uh, the bridge is the, the newest part for you, and that sounds like this. What I'm doing there on the E minor is I'm hammering on both notes. Just because it sounds more cool and like rhythmic or something. that on that little pre-chorus part, take your A minor 7 and create an arpeggio like... So the difference there is I put my pinky on the B string. And you do that A minor 9 by stretching your pinky across the D string, and then you add your third finger back into the A minor chord. So the whole little pre-chorus bit could be played like so. I was kind of fucked up one more time. And then the verse, you're gonna play like a bass line. And I discovered also with the bass line, you can be sloppy and get some of these open strings in and it sounds cool like this. solo interpretation every once in a while getting that jaga jaga thing in between the notes of the bass line anyways that's that tune and then in a couple of the riffs we worked on crossroads <laughs> So if you capo that up three frets, you'll play along to the recording. Um, beat it. Staccato in the last two notes. And then on your reggae, really try to go one, one and, and keep a nice tight dry sound in the high strings. Have fun, bro.